Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin. Of course, I have Benny Ag and Ewa Oluwa Oritu here with me. Hi, Benny. How Hello, you guys. doing? How you doing? Hi, Elsie. Why do you, why do you have that smile? Why do you have that smile across your face? Because I, I have gist for you, but not on set. Oh, great. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> you know how we do. <laughs> All right, moving on to the story. Before we introduce our guest, Blackface speaks on set laying out of court with two faced beer. In a statement via Instagram to confirm the settlement, Blackface says he's human. Um, he's a human being and a Nigerian who fights for his rights, stating that the problem with many of us is that we're afraid to speak up for what is right or defend the truth when we know it. Part of his statement read, and I quote, I I can say that the 50 million defamation suits filed against me by Innocent Dibia, aka Two Face, and his manager, Mr. Efe Omorugbe, has been um, settled out of court as they have both withdrawn their case filed against me. It is true that they sang my song without permission, and truly, it got me angry, but that doesn't legally make them thieves, as the lawyers made me to understand. Sometimes the words we use matter. That's why I apologized for using that word when my lawyer advised me. Finally, they admitted they made mistakes with my songwriters and publishers' rights, which they should have informed me before, but they never did. They have promised to rectify them, so we wait. I hope they honor this time and furnish me details to that effect. End of quotes. So, this is when I say, I'm sorry, Blackface, for not believing you. <laughs> You know, you to apologize yesterday. I said I need to hear from him before saying anything. So yeah, I mean, I I, I can imagine how he felt all these years. And right now, I feel like two faced. You have you are questionable. Yeah, like, it was I mean, so all the while we look at you as the good one, the <laughs> good guy that's not speaking, yeah, not doing anything. But you one. know, right? So why didn't you do this all the while? So I mean, I think so many people owe blackface an apology, but. The, his his justice basically what he has now is his justice i think that's enough for him and he's happy right now so like he said i'm hoping that they honor the agreement and not we we'll, maybe after six months we get another story you know, I, I'm, you know. I'm, I'm sure um two face will not want to do so, any anything other than just honor i the hope so because I, I can't vouch for him anymore i'm really he disappointed he already like did so many things the wrong way mm -hmm. so right now it's just the time for him to right all his wrongs mm -hmm. so everybody will just overlook it yeah i'm so happy for blackface and i think everybody should pick um a lesson from this if you know you're on your rights fight for it at the end of the day you'll get it mm. And the blackface went on for a very long time about mm. this claim. Very and long so time. So there was something that just wasn't um, wrong about his, his claim. Mm. For him to have pushed forward this much, the much, the effort he so did. Some people be, began to say um, he's pro he probably has mental issues mm. or he's obsessed with I mean, two -face. So many so things many were said. <laughs> yeah, the, the reasons were not far fetched because Two Face is Nigeria's sweetheart. We can't take that away from him. Two Face mm -hmm. can do no wrong by most Nigerians. I'm not even Nigerian. blaming Nigerians now yes. because they were looking and at so, the facts and figures. I'm blaming exactly. Two Face himself because so, he knew and kept quiet. Mm -hmm. He did not address it all the while. So, I mean, it, you just really ignored him, and then the next thing you're going yeah, to say and that's is because threaten him if he wants to you know, take you to court. There's this thing silence does when you're accused by the thing that you decide to keep quiet about it. Um, our legal system is not that strong. Yeah. But someone like Blackface insisted and continued, he was persistent about his claims, about mm -hmm. his songs being um, taken by, by Two Face. And so I, I believe it, if it had not gone into this legal battle, Two Face still would have kept quiet, would have mm. kept silent. You know, um, I'm happy for Blackface, and I'm just hoping at the end of the day, the last thing he said that, that they do honor what it was they said they were going to do outside the court settlement. Mm. Um, and I still believe we've not had the last of this case, like I said yesterday. Mm. I don't think this is the last of this case. And so we'll just keep our fingers crossed and, mm -hmm. and let's see how the events turn out. Well, he also and said, let's get back to making music. Oh, so so I'll hopefully for he's dropping new. something soon. Um, and I like that he came out to apologize that he called him a thief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was, that was very, the, um, the, very... The legal, the legal um, suit to face yeah, yeah. Took, mm -hmm. took against him. That was very mature of him. I mean, he can always ignore that and focus on the winning side of mm -hmm. just for him alone. And I like that. I think now he has a new fan. Mm -hmm. I think Two Face should apologize publicly. Yeah, I think so too. Anyway, moving on to the next story. Amber Rose undergoes full body liposuction six weeks after giving birth. So um, I think people are really like, what's the hurry though? Yeah, that's my problem <laughs> too. I, mean, I, I don't have any rush? problem with her getting her body done, but I mean the baby, the baby is barely two months. 
Calm down, it's just sis. Six weeks. I, I know you have a right to your body, but mm. what's the rush? What's some the pressure? Do it. They just have wondering. some sign like an agreement whereby why they are giving birth or why if it's true CS and all that, the doctor removes the fat like immediately. So she's staying six weeks is her own decision and her choice, and maybe because she wants to do other parts of her body. But no, that's the, if it's just the baby fat, the sometimes it's not just move it from at the point of giving birth. They take everything and that's out at that that's point. just the baby she's fat. Not, yeah. she's also working she's on, working her, jaw on line, her jaw, which is she, say it's hereditary for my family. You know, she's doing a yes. proper body makeup. I mean, Allow Amber. Which going to take care of your baby? I don't understand. The one she had, did you take care of it for her? She no. will be fine. They will take care of the baby. She didn't get a surgery immediately. She gave birth to the other baby. So, but she did. She did not later immediately. on, not immediately. This one is too Amber early. Will be fine. I know she's going to be fine. But <laughs> the baby will be fine too. I, I just don't feel like this is so right. Uh -huh. That's just mm -hmm. how I feel. I mean, you can get your body done. I mean, I don't have any problem with that. Mm -hmm. But this is too early. That's how I feel. Oh, talking about getting your body done, mm. um, the famous preacher Tony Rapper was on Instagram yesterday about reconstructive plastic surgery. Okay. And he, he made some silent point and Freeze has come out to agree with him this morning on those points. I agree. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. That for once, yeah, he actually is saying that, that for once he's agreeing that he's agreeing with Tony Rappo on this and that there were issues when it concerned the um, Bukola, Bussola. What did Tony Rappo say? Tony Rappo said that if you're going for plastic surgery, reconstructive surgery for the sakes of medical purposes, I mean, um, maybe your health is endangered mm. and you're not feeling too confident about it, maybe you have a deformity, mm -hmm. then that there is nothing absolutely wrong with it. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to decide. Mm -hmm. But if you're going in for it because of peer pressure mm -hmm. um, for the sexual aesthetics of it mm -hmm. to enhance some body parts for mm -hmm. the sexual aesthetics of it, then, then that, that w that's where it becomes wrong. Wahala, I don't like Wahala. Because fat is Wait, dangerous to the health. It's okay. it's okay. If I look at the mirror and I don't like my body, it affects my mental health too. So please, people should let people be. You know, I mean, so when people do, now, where, let's where now do becomes, them. When now becomes to to highlight mm. some body parts for for sexual purposes. For whatever, sexual purposes. I mean, for whatever, as then, long as it makes them feel the problem, good. But for deformity, medical reasons, if you're not feeling comfortable about it, it affects your self-esteem, your mm. self-worth. Okay, that's the thing. That's the self-esteem. Self-esteem is the, the point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going on a quick break. When we come back, we have a guest. We'll be right back.